guys, Phil from Angler Angler Fishing uh, over here in Newport. Um, we're going to be just throwing some lures today, try to get some bass or whatever bites. Um, I'm with my buddy Jeremy. Say hi Jeremy. There hey. he is over there. So yeah, we're going to try a couple different lures and uh, see if we can get anything to bite. So uh, stay tuned. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Freaking first cast. Oh. Cool. Hey guys. So I got a needlefish here. Haven't caught one of these in a while. He actually didn't even get hooked. He's actually just got wrapped up in the line. So uh, I'm going to let him go, but it's crazy. What kind of fish is it? It's a needlefish. So funny dude I didn't even hook him like literally he got wrapped up in the line like I'm trying to take it out right now so they're all wrapped up on his teeth his beak and they got some teeth look at that yeah it's crazy but it's pretty cool I haven't caught one of those in a while but he's he's not happy <laughs> anyways here we go Dude, I forgot a rag. Dude, that line literally was around him like that, around him like that. On his feet. Gee, how do you think he got on there like that? I, I, he I swam through it? I didn't grab it. All right, guys, literally first cast and a little spotty on the gulp jerk shed, quarter ounce like I always use. This guy's pretty small, but we're gonna let him go. But hey, it's a good sign. Again, we're just using the quarter ounce lead heads with a uh, jerk shad. I believe Jeremy's using a uh, Kitek, um, trying that, you know, just to see. You never know what they might bite, so it's kind of good to mix it up, especially if there's two of you. Um, you know, you can maybe figure out what the fish are honing in on. Maybe try different colors, different lures, whatever it is. They find something they're really hitting, and then both of you switch up and, and use that lure. So that's what we're going to try over here at the next spot. So uh, again, let's see what happens. Yeah, I was going to say that way we won't have another lead down there. It's way easier. Like at one point, you could walk out to that second block. It would be a lot easier, too, because I'm more worried about my footing. Right? I had my boots on, I'd be like, oh, this is fine. Yeah. So see that second black pipe right there? Yeah. That's where you can usually go at low tide. All the way out there. This, this is rock all the way down there. Dude, that'd be pretty cool. I mean, cause I, I like those little like, like, you can see how it, You can see yeah. how it drops, dude. It drops that's what straight I mean. down. You can see the spots when you need to be. Like, right? 
aiming his thing special attention. So since the current's moving pretty good, sometimes I won't even reel it, dude. I'll just let it go down to the bottom. Okay. And he's on. Oh, my God. Nice, dude. First cast. See, I'm just. Whoa, right there. Right, <laughs> right there. in front of us. He just came up to say hello. But see how the current's moving? Now, now sometimes the current's moving fast enough. You don't have to reel it. You can just bounce it like this. Just kind of keep it tight and just kind of. Jig it so it's just bump, hopping on the bottom. Just let the current kind of do the work. It's little, yeah. Can you feel how it's still tight though? Like Yeah. I was gonna say I can still feel it bouncing. And then when it gets a certain point, I'll just reel it straight back in and throw it out there again. So you can see the current break. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. You just kind of threw it right there where the break was. And it yeah. seemed like you just hooked right in. Dude, it was, it was, a lot of times it'll fall and it'll hit the bottom. And they'll eat it right off the bottom. Like, they watch it fall, you know? Mm. That was a pretty good. <laughs> there you go, dude. Perfect. Nice. Gotta get the rod working for me a little bit more. Yeah, like I said, it's just more or less, I'm just kind of following the line. Just making sure it gets to the bottom. Because they'll eat it too sometimes if it's just drifting and not you're not even moving it. They'll fucking eat it up too. Just as little play as possible. Yeah, you just want to make it like kind of bounce as it's drifting, you know? That gets their attention. I think it's still a little, it's still a little warm back here for him. At least you got that one, dude. Yeah, got lucky, man. He wasn't a big one, but. There we go. There you go. Oh. There's a little guy. We like little guys. Take little guys. Nice. Told you that color is set colored. Oh, Another one, guys. A little spotty. I think the water's still a little warm back here. I mean, it's early fall, and um, I think most of the bigger fish are out in the main main harbor, main channel area. It's a little cooler and the water temperatures are more, a little bit more to their liking. But you know, there's a few little guys back here, so I'm we'll just see if we can catch a couple more. To the right. Yeah. My guy. Let's get him out of the rocks, dude. Oh, little guy. God, he's little. Little sand bass. Wow, that's a little one, dude. <laughs> Just going for the whole little fish. sand bass. He was pretty motivated, man. That lure's like half the size of him, but he took it. Oh, nice, dude. There we go, Jeremy. Good. Right when I turned the camera on and off, you got him, dude. <laughs> got him. All right. There we go. Nice, bro. Good job, dude. Oh, yeah. I knew you were going to get them. Like, it's to, a matter of time. It had, it had <laughs> to happen. Oh, just a perfect right in the lip. Yeah. Hold them tight, dude. I got some teeth into that. <laughs> Bring them up to the camera so you can get a good picture of them. Good shot of them. There you go. There it is. Nice job, man. Hell, yeah. <laughs> I knew, if, I knew if you did it, dude, you probably... <laughs> there we go. Sweet, bro. First one of the night. Good job, man. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. <laughs> Let's try to get a couple more, yeah, before it gets it, too yeah. dark. All right, man. Sweet, bro. We're in it now. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Guys. Oh, oh. 
goes to there. God, he was in shallow, dude. He was like super shallow water right now. God, I think I was in like a foot of water. That's a good size. That's getting better. A little better than the last couple, huh? Whoa. Uh, another spotty. A little bit bigger one this time. And he was really shallow. Probably because it's getting dark and they're kind of starting to move up a little bit. My best guess. But he was in about a foot of water. Literally a foot of water. Right buried in the rocks there. So I got... Oh, ow. Oof, there goes my thumb. Ouch. There you go. Decent one. Eh, bigger than the other ones. Alright. Ah. I sometimes will do that too. I don't know why. Cool. Alright guys, so we are finishing up here. We got, I don't know how many I got. I got like... At least five. Five or six yeah. maybe. Nothing least. big though. Jeremy got his. He didn't get skunk today, right? Yeah. Uh, beat the skunk. <laughs> beat the skunk. That's all matters. That's all matters. Yeah, we're running out of lights. We're going to be heading out of here. But uh, uh, good day overall. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, appreciate all the support. And um, yeah, I'll have another video coming out uh, pretty soon after this one. We're going to get some fishing in before it gets too cold. So Ooh. again, hey, uh, thanks for watching Angler Angler Fishing. And I will see you guys in the next vi video. Did I say that right? Video. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>